here we are. It's not taken that long to make. Most of the time it's been waiting for glue to set. But, uh, ooh, what a, what a job. Some projects fight you. Some are easy. Most are, give you a challenge. This one, dear oh dear. Problem after problem. Anyway, we've got it done enough to show the video right to show it works now there's lots of things that could be done differently oh and by the way I've learned something why there's thousands of model railways and only a couple of model locks and canals oh dear but it could be done and if you're going to attempt it I would strongly recommend the use of fiberglass because it will solve most of the problems it really will so I'll just talk you through this and then um, we'll put some water in now for the sake of tiny bit of authenticity as I say I'm not a model maker and it's not to scale but it is to some type of proportion well there we go we'll start at this end and tell you the problems um, my boat I thought I had a bit of box section which would have made a proper steel boat but there were didn't have so I hold out a bit of wood then it was too long for to go in the lock so I had to cut shorten it slightly um, look I've gone to great expense now I went to the I went to get a horse um, went to the cheapo pound shop for a horse well I couldn't get one so I had to get a dinosaur so we'll see how that behaves no doubt it won't and also ever so cheaply for a bit of authenticity look I've got some animals now the gates and the paddles they do work actually the hinges I've just gaffer taped them on so they're pretty flimsy but it would work if you get especially a piano hinge down there that would work well and of course you can put little bits of very thin rubber around them and that would seal it but these they're not too bad this gate leaks quite a lot but in real life you know, I've been boating for 15 years, 10 years on my own boat, and now on my friend's boat, which you've seen the videos of. Well, um, gates leak in real life. The other thing is, you need a holding tank for water. I did try starting and pumping it up from there. Now, I've used a car windscreen washer pump, which of course isn't designed for continuous running. But... Uh, a fish tank pump probably they're relatively inexpensive that would work well because you've got to pump the water up all the time but you do need a holding tank right quite a large holding tank now if you were to make a model of a canal you could uh, say a decent size one to scale with two small locks um, it it wouldn't be that difficult to do, like I said, but definitely use fiberglass. Say something like seven foot by four foot if you, you know, like, like a normal decent railway size layout. And you could do all the, you know, all, all the scenery and everything. As I say, I'm not a model maker, but um, that could certainly be done. So this is really just to prove that it can be done. And I put a tap in it. So I can control the flow of water. But as I say, this pump, I can't run it continuously. So I'll show you it at the end. But anyway, it's, um, we've done it and then not spent a fortune. Oh, my PVA glue was dry and so I went and got some more. I'm going to need two coats of PVA glue. Put some water on it and the blooming stuff. It's supposed to waterproof wood. This doesn't. Right, it's all gone runny. So that was another problem. I mean, <laughs> if you name it, I've had it. <laughs> anyway, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? That's all we're doing. Doing it for a bit of fun. And I've done a road system, look. See? Just a simple bit of rod. And I've had to put a square on it there to grip the string. And a spring underneath to uh, tension it. And all I want to do, if possible is just once the lock is fill and level I open the gate and just using the dinosaur if it behaves just tow the boat into the lock 
because all the rest of the videos I've seen, there's only three I think, well, they're not very good to be honest, and one pushes it in with a bit of stick and it's very unrealistic. You know, another one used a bit of foam as a boat. I mean, it's it's a bit pathetic to be honest. So that's it. So with work, you know, this is simply to show you it could be done. And I've used up my junk and I've not spent very much at all. You know, I've got change out of fiver, out of five quid, so there we are. Right, we'll put some water in and give it a go. Right, we'll start filling the lock. I'm filling the top pound. And we'll see if we can do it without sinking the boat. As I say, lock gates do leak, but it's not that bad. It's, it is stealing a bit, look. Now, I'm just going to open the paddle. And there's the water flowing in. Right? The lock is now full. The water's level, so we'll open the gate. Now, by the way, not all lock gates have beams. Um, I've got a short video from one of my boat trips, and I'll, so I'll, I'll include that to show you. Cowbridge is a more recent and easy lock, with a guillotine gate and two smallish metal gates at the lower entrance. These have no balance beams, with just a simple chain to pull them open. It was of course full of rubbish after the winter, so our first job was to flush the lock. Now because this is very flimsy, as you understand, uh, we've got to help it a bit, but look, there we are, the gate opens, right, the water's level, so we'll see if we can demonstrate towing a boat into the lock, right, see what my road system does. Hmm. Working. Look at that. Come on, Nelly. It's not Nelly, is it? It's T Rex. But look, that's fairly authentic. Look. Oh, I should have got a horse. Right. Come on. Mind the goat. Whoa. Stop. Halt. God, what stop with? Look, you knocked my goat over. Be in the blooming cut in a minute. Dear, oh dear, right. Well, we've got the boat in the lock. So I suppose that's uh, a result. So now, close the gate. And you can pull them with a the chain or push them, whatever you want to do. Hang on, let me zoom out slightly. And close the paddle. It's, I made them stiff because they do bung the hole up. There we are. Right. Because I can't run the pump continuously, I've now got to drain the bottom pound. And as I said, you need a holding tank. So we'll do that. And then we'll take the boat in to the lower level. Right, we've opened the paddle, which is stuck, there we are, and I don't know if you can see, but the water's run through there quite well actually. And I've started to pull, so now, I'm going to back this up a little bit, now. Right, just got to slow this down slightly, in fact I'll stop the pump now. There we are. Right, now the water's about level, you can't, oh, drown the, I mean, T-Rex now look, right. Now we open this gate, there we are, this one works quite well, look, 
and we will tow the boat into the lower pound. Right? Whoops, T-Rex has fell over again. It's because I'm having to... I've reached the end of the, the rope on the thing. It won't work like that. So, we've got to do this little bit by hand. And of course the rope's down now to the lower level. So, working. It's actually not too bad, is it? It's nearly made it. So we'll just have to... There we are. It's in the lower level now. Right. There we are in the lower level, look. And the glue for me repair is melted in the water so the boat fills with water if you get too much now so I've lightened the load a bit but there we are we've got two levels look top level and the lower level but as I said it's all taking water in and out so it works which is the thing it, it's just to show you what could be done that's what I'm trying to do and as I say I've not spent any money on it so there we are. So now what we have to do is go up the other way and I'll do it very quickly because the uh, boat is very slow job and you can end up with miles too long a video if you're not careful. So we'll abandon T-Rex. But he's done his job I suppose. I'll just have to teach him some stop and go words. Right. So we close the paddle and turn the boat round. See why I wanted a steel boat? Been a lot better. Anyway, it'll work enough. And then Maybe it'll be better if I lose the cargo. Right, just start the pump. Because there's more, more water. This level wants to be low. But it does work, as you can see, it works quite well. You've got pump water up there and the pump works. So I suppose you've got to say that's a success. So we open the paddle. And that's fully open the hole. So the water will, it's running, it's going down quite fast. And I'll keep, I'll, I'll, I'll shorten this video a bit and, because it's miles too long the line. Right, water's level, so we open the gate, that's all worked very well. And we'll take the boat in by hand this time. Pull it on the wrong side now to get in. So, that bit's not authentic, but it works. You can see what could be done with a bit more time and effort. Right, close that paddle and open this one and it's running in very fast. That's the boat. So the water's now level and by the way I did just, you can feel tension on the gate when the upper level is as it should be. So we now take the boat into the upper level again. There we are, it's a bit faster this is. It goes through this lock nicely, see. There we are. Anyway, it's not totally authentic of course, but it shows you what could be done and that's the whole object of the exercise. So if I shut the gate again, and shut the paddle I can now show you 
the different levels. Right, three levels of water. I pumped it up, I'll just to show you the three levels of water look. It's that one and that one. Right? So it does actually work. And there's a little bit of seepage out that gate. If you can see at the bottom of the gate. Uh, nearly stopped. But you see the top pound is actually keeping level. So with a bit of rub around and a bit more sealer, proper hinges, it would work. And so I suppose you could say it's actually at the end of the day been successful because I've shown you for without so hardly spending any money how you could actually model a canal. So all you railway modellers, <laughs> you now need to do a canal. All right. <laughs> Cheers.